i'm sure that most of my viewers are aware of the recent floods that we've had in the state of missouri the extensive devastation and all of the problems associated with it and it's a horrible thing but there are some positives if you're a fisherman you like high water in the spring not as much water as we've had but at least enough so that they release water at the tailgates of all the reservoirs well that's what's happening right now and last week my wife and i decided to go up to truman reservoir and do some tail race fishing come along with us and see the water and see what we catch as you can see when we arrived at the lake they were running all four spillways in Truman Reservoir. It's quite a balancing act for the Corps because the water runs into Lake of the Ozarks and on Lake of the Ozarks they build houses down relatively close to the water. Truman Reservoir does not allow any houses built close to the water. So they have to let out the right amount of water. As the water comes out from below the dam it tends to run more toward the right side of the lake and the water on the left side begins to kind of turn and form pools and that's where we planned to fish my wife and I started out fishing with slip corks because we wanted to be able to control our depth In typical fashion, it doesn't take my wife very long to catch a fish. It's quite a chore for us old folks to walk up and down the riprap, but my wife and I decided that we wanted to use regular rods rather than the slip corks, so I made the trip back up to the car to get some more tackle. When I got back down to the water's edge, I noticed this gentleman had caught himself a gar. That's one of the fun things about fishing on the tail race. You never know what kind of fish you're going to catch. My wife and I only live 30 minutes from the dam, so we fish here quite often. And one of the things that we have learned is that if you're going to walk up and down this riprap, you need to travel lightly. So we both carry these little shoulder strap type tackle bags that have worked very well for us. When we fish the tail race, we normally use two jigs. We do that to get a chasing effect 
and also add a little bit of casting weight. Today I'm using a 16th ounce swimming minnow on my bottom jig and the 32nd ounce crappie max swimmer on my top jig. Notice here that when we cast out, usually we do nothing for a short period of time. That's because we are using the counting method to determine how deep to let the jigs go.
Crappy. This gentleman's name is J.D. I fished with him for quite a while and visited with him. And I had my back turned to him landing a fish and when I turned around I saw his rod bending and I knew immediately it was something big so I started filming him. JD is fighting this fish with an 8 foot crappie rod and 10 pound test line. A group of people were gathering in the parking lot to watch JD fight his fish. There finally got to be as many as 12 people there. Great night.
spoonbill catfish do not bite lures. You can see JD's line coming down and you can see that his jig is snagged into the left front anal fin. JD was totally give out from fighting the fish, so I told him I would try to revive it for him. We estimated the fish to be somewhere between 40 and 50 pounds. My camera showed over 28 minutes from the time I noticed JD fighting the fish until he landed it. My wife is still after those white bass to feed the kitty cat. A few minutes after JD had landed his fish, I was getting ready to start fishing again and I noticed another guy who had a hold of a big fish. He was fishing off of a platform that is designed specifically for handicapped people. Obviously, he's not very handicapped, but he had a hold of a good fish. This fisherman had regular catfishing equipment and he had a hold of a large blue catfish. This time, the fish won the battle. While all these sideshows were going on, my wife was still catching fish.
after I caught that fish, I turned around and noticed that JD had caught another big fish, about a 20 pound buffalo. Well, this was the last fish of the day for my wife and I, but what a wonderful day it was. We had a lot of fun fishing the tail race. I wouldn't want to do this kind of fishing all the time because I'm more of an outdoors person that wants to be in remote areas. But if you've never been tail race fishing, you ought to give it a try. It certainly is different, and I'll guarantee you that it's exciting.